Hey everyone, I'm Yair Abdullahi and today I'll be showing you how to import your own fonts in Scratch using an outside website called FontMeme. We're using FontMeme because Scratch doesn't have many fonts on here, probably only 9 and maybe those 9 doesn't fit the exact fonts you need. I wanted this yellow grayish cool font to fit with my cat and mouse project I created but Scratch didn't have it so I checked everywhere and found a website called fontmeme.com. That helped. This is the font I found and used for my cat and mouse game. In order to do it, you need to go to the website www.fontmeme.com. Once you're in the homepage of Fontmeme, you'll see that there's different types of fonts like Crybaby's font, I Care A Lot font, For All Mankind font, WandaVision font, and many other more. If you click Font and Use, it can give you the different types of fonts you can search for. Sports, retail organization, media, internet, food, electronics, apparel, and logos. So first you'd click font collection. Choose the font you want. I'd say I want to use Echotopia. Once you click on it and you scroll down to font preview, you can type what you want. For example, I'll type hello. You can change your font size, select a different effect that has on the sides different cool effects. There's style apple, style Argentina, style backwards, there's gradient H, gradient V, gradient R. I'm going to use V. You can select your color. I will choose uh, red and black for mine. Once you've done all that and you click generate, you'll see that your text is below. Once you have the correct text and font and color size that you chose, right click on hello, save image as, type what you want, I will say hello as my file name, hello number 2, and make sure that you're saving it as a PNG image file. Once you save that, you can go to scratch, click the cat in the bottom right corner, scroll up to upload sprite. Once you've clicked it, type in your file name that you chose. Mine was hello2, and once I press it and press open, my font is there. And that's how you choose a font in your Scratch. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. For more beginner level Scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca basics.